This is going to be a quick lightning fast walkthrough from my plugin and my plugin is called Post Volume Stats. This is just my test WordPress blog and um, we're just going to have a look at this plugin here which is made by me. We're in version 3.1.14 so all of this stuff is basically for this one version of the plugin. Future versions will be different so obviously uh, bear that in mind. If you want to add the plugin obviously go to add new and I'm going to go to post volume oops okay there we are um, so obviously you would add it here um, if you didn't already have it so let's go back to the plugin page with all the list of plugins and what we've added recently there's actually a link to the settings from this page that's new so here we are most of these settings we've had before I don't know whether um, current users have seen them before but this is where they are um, you can choose what day the uh, stats start on um, see so Sunday or Monday on the um, on these pages you can have either colorful lists or black black links I guess um, you can say if you have one user or more than one obviously if you have if you only have one user it just saves up space because it doesn't show you the users bar charts you can choose whether you have custom taxonomy or not but even if you say yes you have to actually select it here uh, the admin toolbar link is this one up here so that's handy if you're logged in as admin but you're actually on the blog itself uh, you can allow the export of CSV so you can turn that on and off so you don't get the buttons on the main page if you turn that off but in order to have this you need uh, the WP admin the default admin folder and you can see we've got the default admin folder and then finally this is the beta date range uh, page you can turn that on and off because it is experimental it doesn't fully work but we're just we're just trying it out to begin with um, but let's just have a look at the main let's have a look at the main page we've selected 2016 so that's why 2016 is highlighted so if you see red it means that that's highlighted and all this data all these all these graphs are for the highlighted uh, things so obviously if you if you highlight a test user as well if you highlight a user in a year these uh, stats are for those two parameters that year that user um, so if I change user that's the other user in the same year um, and if I deselect then that's all the users in that one particular year I can change years let's have a look at that one yep uh, and if I if I want to have a look at the all-time stats what I do I just click on the red link and you can see where all time stats now okay so um, all the bar charts are fairly self-explanatory days between posts um, if there's two posts on the same day that would be zero if you have um, post on one day and a post on the following day that would be one day between stats and it obviously that's how it works the list should work um, and it's going to show you the so yeah 318 days between posts there so I don't use this blog that much particularly it's just a test blog um, and let's go back to this sheet so that's a bit better there's only 46 days in this particular year so okay so let's have a look at this this beta then so this is a beta as well so it doesn't have to compare years and it doesn't have the export CSV let's go to the um, date range beta so we were selected we've selected 2010 so what we need to do we can select different years on here and if you click Save that would change on the on the main page but what we're going to do we're going to select no year because we want to put the date range in and we're going to select that's 
So that's two years, 2016 and 2017. Click Save. And when we go to the main page, uh, so nothing's highlighted here because we, we made sure we deselected the year um, chooser. And uh, this is the date range. So if this is the if this is the um, correct range, what should happen is all of the bar charts are going to show the data uh, just in this particular range. The pie charts won't be affected. The lists here aren't going to be affected. Compare years isn't going to be affected. The only thing that's affected so far by the date range is the bar charts. Um, and all of them, all of them are affected. It's including this one here. So uh, let's just have a quick look at, so the compare years, um, that's all time, isn't it? And what you can see is, so for this year here, for this month, for November, three posts, and 2016, 2017, November, three posts. There we go. Um, and all the data looks right. So there's this one in January and a couple of months off. Yeah, everything looks right there. Okay, so what else is there? There's the category and tag pages. So that's category, that's tags, and that's um, topics, that's the custom taxonomy. All of it work pretty much the same. Um, let's just show you. So we're on the all time stats at the moment. I can select all of those and it shows you a preview. So this is obviously the all time graph and the all time list. You can select a particular year and you can choose whichever ones you want on any of the graphs. If I can click the, so there you go. And let's go back to the, let's do something like that. Okay, that's pretty good. So we want to export this to our graph. Um, we can export everything, just the graph or just the list. I want to export everything. So I click that. That's what it looks like. But don't worry, it's actually saved it as a draft. Um, so without me doing anything, it's already saved it. Let's have a preview. So that's what it is. If you publish it, that's, that's what it will look like. We go back to the blog itself and we've also got this widget in the side so let's have a quick look at that how do we how do we add that and it's just this fella here and it's it's here so if i wanted a second instance i can just bring that across um, it's got most of the bar charts and the two pie charts the only thing it doesn't have it doesn't have the custom taxonomy on there and it doesn't have the latest bar chart. So there are two I could add in the future. You can change the text, you can change the color of the text. Uh, you can't change the order. So if I wanted years underneath category and tags, what I'd have to do is have the two instances there, category and tags in this one, and then I'd have to do something like that. Um, so what else is there? I was just gonna show you, um, I know there are some bugs. Um, let's um, have a look at the topics. So these are the, this is the all time topics and we've got four. If I click on a particular year, I know those topics exist in this one particular year. So I'm gonna click on this one particular year and they vanish. And also it looks a bit weird because the uh, the uh, taxonomy names disappeared and it's it's just acting a bit strangely. So I need to refresh or I need to click on click on the page again. So let's refresh and yep, back it comes and it works. So um, just a little minor bug there, but it needs fixing. Also, uh, once the once the graph comes up, the top the uh, top one should be red, but it's pink. Uh, so that's another minor one. If you go to the other ones, yeah, top one's red. So what's going on there? I don't know. 
but that's everything. Um, if you want to, um, you can contact me from the WordPress repository plugin page. Uh, this is the plugin page, and um, you can see we only updated yesterday. Um, you can leave a rating, a review, uh, and there's a support forum, which is really handy so people can tell me uh, if the plugin's working, feature requests, all that kind of stuff. And if you do want to contact me, contact details here. You can post in the uh, in the forum to tell me what's going on. And sometimes I don't get the notifications, so there are extra ways to contact me here. Thank you for watching this video. If you're using the plugin, thank you again. It's good to uh, it's good to know that people are using it. Um, I hope you find it useful, and see you next time.